This is Hydrogen TAP 1 Series 3. What we're doing here is testing a few theories out. We're using the tower that you saw in the other video. The tower is three inches across. It's a plastic tube. We're using 11 stainless steel plates that are three inches wide by five and a half inches. The question is whether or not we can produce as much hydrogen using less amperage or current. We're running around 12 volts, a little over 12 volts, which you'll see in a moment. We're running at 15 amps. It is my belief that some of the hype that we've seen with the frequencies being used is really the configuration of the system. If I'm right, we should see approximately the same amount of gas coming out of this system as we did with the 30 amp system. We're still running on a 12 volt battery, which is being charged. We'll show you that in a minute. So with the voltage drop, it's running a little over 12 volts. We're running around 15 amps with no electrolyte. The last, the last test we made for volume, we had electrolyte in the water and we were drawing 30 amps. This is tap water, not distilled water, tap water, and we're running at 15 amps approximately, and there is no electrolyte. One of the hardest problems I've had with this test unit is securing the gas leaks. I believe that if I had this in another unit, which I'm going to make with no leaks in it, that we would see considerable more gas coming out. There's a shot of the voltmeter, 12.23 volts. There's your amps at not quite 15 amps. As you can see, we're getting a pretty good steady gas flow out there. There's a view of the unit. There's enough pressure in there, which I'm going to show you, is even forcing the water out between the wire and the installation. That's where that water is coming from. That water you see there is actually coming between the insulation and the wire. 